Come Derby, come Derby. Come Dougie, come Dougie, up. Lekker. Dank je. Good morning. Good morning. And we've got our lovely Mia with us again. We've just got ourselves some nice Mia got a breakfast bun and you got some samis and I just got a nice tea. Pacino from Vida. Yes, and yes. we're on our way. And I don't know how many times we've said good morning and it's raining. Yeah, it is. It is a, a <laughs> rainy morning, but it's not cold, but it's, yeah, it's lovely, actually a lovely yeah, morning. Yeah, nice and clear. Yeah. We are on our way to a place called Zurich. Um, it is very close to Optiberg, um, just at the, I think, the southern parts of the Cedarburg. And it is a bit of a drive. It's going to be about a three hour drive now from Cape Town. 220 kilometers or so it's going to be a camping mm. night um, and we're going to sleep in our rooftop tent again and as far as we can gather there's no 4x4 so it, it, it is remote but it's not crazy driving no, so no. but the setting is amazing so i really can't we saw some photos and we are yeah. really excited about this so. yes it's lovely okay okay let's go <laughs> making good progress on our way to our camping site for tonight and we have just passed through the Nieuwe Kloof Pass and we are driving through the beautiful Tilbach Valley at the moment so not too far to go to, to Sirius about 110 kilometers to to Ankoms Patstal where we arrive for our camping maybe you've been wondering where is Fricky now of course we love to take Fricky with but unfortunately this trip it is simply not possible to take him with the campsite where we're going to stay is called Lover's Lane and it is right in the mountains in the southern Siedeberg and apparently that is quite a sensitive ecological area so they said no they don't allow any dogs furthermore they said it is a place where wild leopard is walking around and they cannot guarantee the safety of our dogs so I suppose they're not too worried about the people there but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah poor Fricky we don't want to put him in danger so it's very unfortunate we, we really love taking him with but unfortunately not this time um, but we will definitely take him with every time that we can possibly do a bit less busy now we, yeah. we've been negotiating quite a lot of heavy traffic while we just want to get away from all the traffic I think. I 
I well yes, I was hoping for for some more dirt roads, but I think yeah. soon. But it will How become far are we still? it will become very quiet now. We are now 67 kilometers from Optiberg. So Optiberg, well Optiberg and Ankomst Patstal, they are very close to each other. Oh, okay. It's in the heart of the Koe Bockeveld. So that is I think the, the town of the Koe Bockeveld. Mm. So we are hitting the dirt road now, so at long last we are on gravel. It's quite sudden because you don't see it coming. Ah, good. But we are very close to our camping site now. What is it? Only 20 kilometers. So, yeah, we are entering the southern parts of the Cedarburg. We are already seeing very, very interesting rock formations in Cedarburg. So Vanny just informed me, he doesn't know how I read the, the description of the campsite because you need a 4x4 to get to it. So I really hope it's not as bad as before. Well, I cannot remember 4x4 but they said the, the, the vehicle must have good ground clearance. So let's let's hope it's bad. <laughs> no, not at all. Luckily I've got Mia to stress with me. I'm not going to be all alone. So Home of the Mouton family since 1895. Don't you have to go down there? No. We might have to come That's back confusing. this way. I'm not quite sure where the campsite is, but we need to go to Ankoms Patstal, which oh, is still oh, three kilometers. Oh, it's next to the road. Okay, yeah, okay. three kilometers to go, yeah. Plus Wi-Fi. <laughs> so this is farm Wi-Fi there. What's Plus Wi-Fi? <laughs> I don't know. It's, no farm, wifi. it's farm Wi-Fi. <laughs> I think we are here. Yeah. Ankoms Patstal. What is cute. Oh. Super Winky. Hello. Hi, oh, is near as in. Hello, oh, jylle is prachtig, jylle is so krillig. Hello, hello. Off the mind your head sign <laughs> with my head. <laughs> my head got stuck on the mind your head sign. Yeah, so it's um, obvious that this this door was not built with me in mind. <laughs> Ik heb er mij ook iets gekoop. Yes, we got some pudding. <laughs> we got a little milk tart and we got a little cheesecake. So we're But, gonna. Oh, we're gonna share it. Gonna oh, share oh, nice. It. So this is Ankoms Patstal here at Zurich. So this is where you check in for your campsite. It's an absolute beautiful environment. There is not a breath of wind. So we are looking so much forward. So we got information now about all the places where we can go. And I think the Bushman paintings is probably one of the highlights. But yeah, we are very excited to, to explore this place. Did you get some more goodies? Yes, we got some um, sweet potato and curry chips. So it seems like Ankom's farm yeah, shop has got local, lots of stuff. This is locally made. So locally we made. Give it a good, go. good, let's go. I'm going to taste them now. The sweet potato chips. Sweet, pota sweet potato creamy curry chips. Mm -hmm. 
Jo. Very good. I the very unique taste, yeah. Mm, Great. Long. Great. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm, good. Mm. We just had a lovely stop at Ankum Spatstal, where Adri Hick is the lady that owns the farm and runs the Patstal. And she told us that the, the leopard is actually leaving foot marks, um, footprints uh, during the night time. So you need to have your fire going. If your fire is not going, you need to be in your tent. <laughs> So, and then also it seems like the road is going to be a teensy bit of a challenge. Some sand driving and... So it might be good that we didn't bring Frick in him. Yes, I think so because he would have been a lovely snack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice sausage snack. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving the main gravel track here. So this is the access road to the Zurich area. I need to stop eating these chips now. <laughs> They're addictive. We've just stopped to uh, lower the pressure on the wheels and look what's blooming just here. I'm going to show you now. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Kind of lava bloom and I think actually there's more. I'm going to see if I find more. Hello. The steering is a bit softer. I mean, mm -hmm. as Red spoke about quite a bit of sand where you need to keep your momentum and for, for sand having it a bit softer. Better. Probably about 1.5 bars at least that okay. I'm going to put it there. Are you opening the gate? Yes, I can open the gate. Okay, I will get in and then you can close it again. Em. So far, so good, Ne? Yeah, no, it's looking brilliant. Yeah, oh. it is sand, but maybe it will get worse. Yeah, but just this entrance into this place, I think this is a special place. Yes, Again, it is. I didn't know almost, I knew nothing about this place, and I think we're going to be amazed at what we see. I think one of the special things about this area is that it's a whole lot of bushman drawings, and I read she actually likes it when the guests find this, the drawings on their own. So there is a map, but it's just lovely exploring yeah. and I think everywhere you walk you're going to find wonderful surprises so driving quite a nice sandy track at the moment yes I love it yeah it's not it's not difficult uh -uh. Now. so we're approaching a water pan now apparently this pan is usually dry but with the lots of rain uh, in this area there is a bit of water in it now so yeah oh. Just look how beautiful! Oh my word! Yo! Are there birds? No, there's no birds. That's strange. It's actually lots of water for a pen that is usually dry. Yeah, maybe the birds don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. It is really beautiful. Very special. There's some birds on that rock. Oh, okay. <laughs>
now. So we're driving next to the water pan here at the entrance to Zurich. It's actually a, almost a surprise to find this spread of water. Amazing, and look at the colors on the rock. It's like a massive ship, Mia. Yeah? It is amazing, man. Sure. I hope it's less vehicle. No. is not enough. The last one. Yeah, what did you Yeah. 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 Hier ist die Eisfläche, We bought the cheesecake and mm -hmm. milk tart at Ankom Stadstal. So Mia has divided it very evenly <laughs> among three people. So a third, a third, a third. I'm having my third of cheesecake now. Very nice. Mm. I like it. <laughs> how is the how is the milk tart, Mia? It's nice. Huh? I can hear you are busy with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the cheesecake. Good, right? yeah, this is very nice. So yeah, quite a unique experience. Cheesecake under the arches of Lovers Lane campsite. <laughs> this is a this is an unbelievable campsite. I have yeah. not experienced anything like this before. Not even close. I mean, these arches. I we saw photos up front, but the the from the photos, I didn't think it is this big. Yeah. I mean, the, these arches are so big that the whole car can drive underneath. But do you think you will be able to pitch the roof? Yeah, not, not in exactly that spot, but where I'm standing at the moment. Oh, yeah. I mean, this roof is, is, is way high enough mm. to pitch this rooftop tent easily. And it means that you have shade all the time, no matter where the sun is. Yeah. It's huge. Also, it's really hot outside. It's 30 degrees, 31 degrees. 32 now, 32. yeah. yeah. But as soon as you walk into this cave area it's cool. nice and cool it's wonderful yeah, this is an unbelievable place yeah so we will take some some proper footage to to show more but apparently one can even walk on top of the arch yeah i want to do that yeah so we, a little walkway i think the lover's lane actually refers to a little bit of a walkway so we will we'll check it out yeah i so say it's now about 20 to 3 in the afternoon here at lover's lane campsite in zurich it's a bit hot to to explore the the walking trails and so on, but 
going to show you a bit of the campsite, but let me start first where there is an afternoon siesta going in the car. So, of course, at this camp being trip Mia is coming with, so we made a bed for her in the car. She said she's not going to sleep with a tent outside where leopards are walking around. So, it is real. I mean, Audrey uh, Head, the lady at, at Ankoms but stall or farm stall, she also said, I mean, there is a leopard. But you shouldn't be too worried. I mean, it will stay away from you. And if we sleep in our tent in the car and so at night, there will not be a problem. Yeah. But I mean, it is, it is a reality. But in any case, it's convenient to sleep inside the car. Yeah, so she'll be very safe. You know, we modified this um, camp bed a bit so that because one seat needs to be in, in the back. But I will show you a bit. So Mia will sleep inside. But there's still another person can lie down like under the end. Then, of course, we will sleep in the, the rooftop tent. But I'm going to show you more of the campsite a bit now. So as you approach the Lovers Lane campsite here at Zurich, you are met with this huge arch. You can see, I mean, it is really, the height of the arch is, is, is quite high. The car fits underneath easily. And I think in this part here, in the, the first part, you can even set up your rooftop tent. But yeah, it's a beautiful campsite, um, a natural rock formation with an arch. And it's, it's big. The car is parked there. On this side, there is a like a Borma Bry area. You can see the BRC family has camped out already. It's not the neatest campus you will find, but yeah, it's so nice. So this is where the arch begins at the Borma, and it's actually it seems to be two parts to this arch. There's a bit of a gap here in the middle. But you can see now. I mean, it stretches there in the distance, and then the car is also fitting in nice and then it's not ending there I mean, this arch then extends I mean there's enough space in this part of the arch to pitch a few tents even here where it's nice and flat it's very well protected and you always will have shade here so no matter how what time of the day it is you will have shade so yeah it is beautiful and then from this campsite you have even from underneath the arch, you have these views in the distance. I mean, it is absolutely great. And I, I really love the, the colors of the, of the arch, the, the top of the arches. So yeah, let's just walk a bit in this impressive rock that is just sticking out here. And then you can walk out on the other side. Yeah, so the big boulder here. So I'm now taking a walk to the bathrooms or the bathroom, there is one toilet and a shower here. And it is just so well built to naturally fit with the colors of the rock and the arch, rocks and the arches here. So you will see that it's built from local stone. So you can see the campsite is over there with the arches narrowing down to the, to the ground here. And then yeah, this very outside toilet area. I think it is Excellent. Uh, I mean, the idea to just naturally let it fit in here with the the rocks and sun. So here you will find your 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 toilet, and then the, on the other side you'll see there is the shower. So there is the entrance to the shower. So so let me let me walk in there. Oh, so you just walk around this side. There's even a tree yeah, growing out here, so this part is a bit protected from the sun. I love it. I will definitely test out this shower. I'm now going to try and look and see whether I cannot find a place to get on top of the arch, because apparently one can walk on top of the arch. There's no problem with that. But I'm not quite sure where the pathway or the best place is to, to get on top of the arch. 
looks like one might be able to just simply climb up here. I'm just going to try a bit and see how far I can get by just walking up here. See, this is a bit of a different angle to the arch. Yeah, so I suppose one can just climb up here, but I probably need two hands. Well, I got on top of the arch. Yeah, so if you look here, you will see I simply climbed up these little well, steps or rocks that's sticking out here. And now I'm on top of the arch. So let's go for a bit of a walk on this arch. I see there's a small um, solar panel stuck up here. So here you can see this is the entrance of the I think the highest part of the arch is here. Car park there. And then one then one can walk all all the way across. I see there's the gap between the two arches. There you can see all the way down. And then he tapers off to that side. Let me just walk a bit further. I find the the texture or the uh, how the, the top of the arches are eroded away very interesting because it just seems like over time some part of the, the rock gets soluble and it's just rinsed off and it causes all these holes and yeah as if it's just eroded away but it looks like this as far as you look in the distance it probably explains how the arch was formed in the first place if you look closely you can see our campsite there through the hole here let me try and zoom in a bit Yeah, so Mia is joining me here on top. So there's a chair that's been eroded away for you, Mia. That's amazing. And look at this part, little channels. And it's easy to imagine that it first formed some tunnels and later on these tunnels collapses and you only are left with these, with these rocks. This is fascinating. I can still see Anneli's feet, so I think she's still busy with her siesta. Mia, are you on the edge? Okay, so Anneli and Mia made the walk up to the top of, or the climb up to the arches, and they're coming back down now, so no, it's not too difficult, but Anneli, do you agree? It's it's a it's a it's a fascinating look. It's like like being in another world. Yeah. So you say you found Lover's Lane. I found Lover's Lane. What makes it Lover's Lane? I don't know. It's just a lane. It's natural, but it's easy to walk, and it's like walls on both sides. Okay. You can exit it at the, at the end of it. Slippery. Come on, Ellie. Um, so try it now. Yeah. Okay. I get myself my See, is it a grip here? Oh, glad. Yeah. Oh, well done. But the further you go, the softer the fall if you fall. <laughs> okay. 
Lane. Let's go and have a walk down Lovers Lane. Uh, so I found the Lovers Lane of Lovers Lane campsite. So <laughs> seeing that Andy my lover, we will do the walk. Let's do the walk. I've been cynical, oh so cynical. Never thought somebody could save me from another fall, from another scar. But I'm all healed up, standing steady. I couldn't see colors, it was all in gray. Till you showed me every shade. Now I feel like someone. of fascinating spaces. I mean, look at this whole area. Looks like there's a cave-like compartment here as well. It goes in quite deep. I'm not sure whether it has cooled down that much, but we are itching to explore Zurich a bit better. We want to go and do some rock art hunting. They tell you kind of where it is, but then you've got to see if you find it. So I actually quite like the challenge. Rock art and arches. And arches, yeah. yes. I can't think there's more beautiful ones than this one, but let's see. That one is very clear, like an yeah. island without a head. Yeah. So it's completely flat on the side, on this side. I will not touch it, but this is the size of my hand. <laughs> 